What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do a code forces problem called Lucky Numbers and this is a problem that involves binary search and brute force. You could use bit masks, but let's not do that for now. I don't really understand how they're how to use bit masks for this problem, but this is how you would do lucky numbers. So what is lucky numbers? Uh, ba basically, you're inputting a positive integer n and the number doesn't contain uh, leading zeros. Your job is to find the least super lucky number that is not less than n. So the least super lucky number that is not less than n. A super lucky number is a decimal representation that only contains digits four and seven. Right, four and seven. So for example, four, four, seven, 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 four, 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 seven, four, four, seven, seven are super lucky and four, seven, four, 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 six, seven are not. And the uh, fours, so basically super lucky means that it contains the same amount of digits of four and seven. And uh, yeah, so this is, this four doesn't, is not super lucky because there's no, the number of fours and the number of sevens are not the same, right? Here we have one four and there's zero sevens. And in here, seven, four, four, seven has one seven and two fours, right? So that's not lucky because the number of fours and sevens are not the same. So our job is to find the least super lucky number that does not exceed n, okay? All right, so I'm gonna give you guys, pause the video, try this problem out yourself, and then come back to it. And then I'll pretty much go over the solution with you guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna go over the problem with you guys on how to do this. So if we look at the problem statement, the first line contains a positive integer n, and that's the number that we're inputting, right? And then we need to find the least super lucky number that does not, that is, uh, is not less than n, right? So to do this, if we look at the constraints, n is between one and 10 to the ninth. So we know that the maximum possible lucky number has to have nine digits, right? That's a max, okay? And the smallest number is, uh, has probably two digits actually, because the reason why is, if I input like one, now let's say 10, the, the, if you look at the cases, it would be probably 47, because, uh, so uh, yeah, 47 would be the first uh, lucky number, right? Because it has a, the same number of fours and sevens. So if the, the smallest number, of one is gonna have size of the digits one is gonna have two, right? Two digits, right? Two digits uh, for the number of digits that there are. So for number one, the, the, the smallest would be two digits, right? 47. Okay, so if we know that the largest is 10 to the ninth, nine digits, we could recursively generate all the values of nine digits. So then once when we get past the 10th digit, we could just break, like we're, we're just done, okay? So we could recursively generate all the numbers that are lucky or not, and then input that into a list of, uh, into a vector of, I don't know, whatever size it is. It just keep adding, recursively generate the numbers, and keep adding because the input size is really small, right? Uh, this is not that much, this is not that big. So if you recursively generate all those numbers, add them into a big vector, then sort the vector, then use binary search, you could find the one that is the number that does not exceed the letter N, okay? So first, I'm gonna start out this code program by saying, uh, I'm gonna include this, this is my first current program, uh, this header file is what most people use in competitive programming. Uh, it's pretty much one simple include statement that includes all the, the header files, the libraries and stuff like that. Um, you can find it online. There's a there's a ways you could find it, uh, how to include it. Normally you don't do this because it's bad habits to just include everything, but this is what I do, okay? For competitive programming sake, like, because it's like one, one, one include statement, okay? Uh, include STD, so then I don't have to write STD over and over again for the namespace. I'm gonna do define LL as long long. So define LL long long means that I am uh, 
including uh, hashtag define uh, LL long long means that whenever I type LL, it's just going to mean long long. And this is just to improve like typing speed ability. But just so every time when you guys see LL, it just means long long. Okay. So I created a global variable called N. So then I could access it, my variable N that I'm inputting it from here. It's the only input line N. So I create that global variable and just before everything, so I can access it in all my uh, functions. Okay, so first, remember we have to read in the only input, which is the letter N. So I read in, read in N using CN. So I see in the value of N, so now I have the value of N. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna generate, I call this function, uh, gen, generate all possible values. Okay, let's say generate all possible values or something. I don't know. I'm going to generate all the possible values and in this function, then I'm going in the function of gen, uh, generate, um, let's just call it gen, gen, gen possible values. Okay, just for short, gen pos values. I don't want to type it over again, again, again. Okay, so gen possible values. It's going to generate all the possible values that have size of fours and sevens that are lucky numbers, it's gonna add it into a vector. So I'm gonna create a vector called a vector, vector long, long. I'm gonna call it data. Uh, maybe I shouldn't call it data. Uh, let's say our lucky numbers, okay? So this is gonna be generate all the possible lucky numbers here. I didn't write the function yet for gen possible values, but it's going to add up all those values into gen possible values. And then I'm going to sort this. So I'm gonna sort our lucky numbers and then I'm gonna use binary search on that. So uh, I might actually do this later. So let's just generate all the possible values first and then we could actually use binary search on that. Okay, so I'm gonna call this function gen possible values what do I call it? Gen pos possible possible values. Let's just name it that. Yeah, gen possible values. Okay, it's gonna be a function. Um, we're gonna do a void, so then it's not there's no return type, and then I'm gonna have three three uh three arguments. Okay, the first one is going to be our current uh answer or not answer our current value or yeah, whatever value, which is the value that we're going to generate all the possible combinations of using recursion, right? The second one, we're going to call it the number of sevens. And then the third one is going to be the number of fours. So remember, we we're generating all the possible values of lucky numbers. And those are occur when we have fours and sevens, right? So we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to append four and seven to to the our value, our current value that we're passing in every single time, and that will generate all the possible values of super lucky number. Okay, but remember it has to be super lucky. So that means that the number of digits of four and seven have to be the same, right? So we have to only add the values that are super lucky into our vector. Uh, yeah, the only value out of the values are super lucky into our vector. So that means that when we're recursively generating, we have to make sure that our numbers of fours and sevens are the same. Okay, that's what it means. Each uh, the number of digits fours and the number of digits sevens have to be the same. So, okay, so first I have to think about the base case. Remember, the base case is if our value is greater than uh, 1 e to the 11 or 10, I think 10. Yeah. One E to the 10th. And I'll put like double L's for, uh, it's double. So I think that would be double L's. Um, do, 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 there's no operator. Okay. So I'll, I'll just add like 10 zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So if it's greater than the 10, 10 digits, right? That means we're done. Okay. Cause our maximum, n number is 10 to the ninth, right? So if it's greater than 10, we're done, okay. So that's what we're gonna do, okay. Um, then we're gonna return. 
So that means we're done generating. We're completely done generating. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to generate possible values. So I'm going to add 10. The value, I'm going to multiply 10 to the value and then add a 4. So the, this means that I'm going to append the digit 4 into our number, our current number. Okay, so when it means that, basically what I'm doing is I'm generating all fours and the possible values of fours and sevens over and over again. And uh, this function call is going to generate uh, one four. So it's gonna add append a four to the to the last value of value. So, so if, if I have like number one, if the value is one first, I'm gonna multiply by 10. So it becomes 10 and then I'm gonna add four. So now it's 14, right? So that, that this appends four, the letter, uh, the not letter, the uh, number four to the back of value. So that's what this does. Okay, so that's going to add a four to the uh, back of the value. Okay, the number of sevens is still going to stay the same, but our number of fours is going to increase by one. Okay, so this is going to regenerate the add four, uh, append four into the possible values of answer a value. Okay. Now I have to generate seven also. So I'm gonna append seven also. So possible values, value multiply by 10, LL. LL means long, long, okay? Plus seven, okay? And then I'm going to increase the number of sevens by one, and then the number of fours stays the same. Okay, so this is gonna add seven to our value, a value, append seven to the back of the value. Okay, remember that we only add the values that are super lucky. So that means that the number of sevens, uh, the number of digits fours and sevens are the same. They're super lucky, right? So what that means is that if, if our number of fours is equal to the number of sevens, that means it's super lucky. And I'm going to append it or push back to our lucky our vector of lucky numbers so push back value okay uh, maybe i shouldn't have called a value because it's a current value but yeah that's going to be that's going to generate all the possible lucky numbers okay so now we, now our vector array or vector array or whatever it is uh what do you call it vector it's vector so now our vector contains all the super lucky numbers um and then we have to use binary search and find the value that is just greater than n. Um, so here, uh, the arguments we're gonna pass in for generate is gonna be zero, zero, and zero. Yeah, so that's going to start at zero and then add four, then seven, then four, seven, all the pos possible combinations up until one with uh, 10 zeros, and that's it. Okay, so once we generated all the values that are super lucky into our our lucky numbers, we are going to sort it. So I'm going to sort our lucky numbers. Dot begin. Sort our luck. Uh, our lucky numbers. Dot end. And that's going to sort all the lucky numbers into that. So now, once it's sorted, we could run binary search. So to run binary search, we're going to do. There's like binary search. Binary search, uh, there's, there's like a, I don't want to code binary search up, so there might be actually a function, binary search, binary search in C++, just to make sure that like, um, like I don't want to code it up, so, okay, so, so binary search, yeah, element is found in the, okay, so, Dot set. Okay, so we're gonna do binary underscore search. Uh, the problem is, does it return the actual number? You have to use like, I think you have to use upper bound or something. Binary search return number. <sighs> do, 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 do. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, lower bound. Okay, so return the pointer to the, if it, yeah. Okay, so I think, should we use lower bound or upper bound? Let me think. Lower bound, what's upper bound? 
returns a pointer to the position of the next higher number than number. Yeah, yeah, okay, so the next position of the next higher number than number. So the next higher number than number. Oh, yeah, so we need upper bound. So we're gonna use upper bound on our value and then subtract by begin, and then we use that as our index. So here, I'm gonna do a upper bound, let's copy this. Call position of position of our, the number is going to equal to this minus r1 dot begin. Okay. And then we're going to see out position of number. So once I have the position of the number in the array, I'm going to get print out the actual number. So our lucky numbers at position. Okay, so that should work. Um, now for the our actual array, it's not R1, it's going to be our lucky numbers dot begin. Uh, same thing. Uh, yeah, same thing as that. So uh, this is going to get this is the number we're searching. So number we're searching is going to be n. Yeah. All right. So I think this is going to work. I haven't actually like completely tested it, but let's try 10 should be 47. So let's try that. If, if, there, if there's an issue, like, I don't know. Yeah, 10 is 47. Okay, so that's good. Um, so let's, let's, let's copy it and then submit it. See if we have issues. Well, past test one, we're on test two. Probably took a few times. If it, if it gets TLE, then I'll have to think of another solution. I don't think I'll get TLE though. Hmm. I'll take it halfway a while. Wrong answer. Let's see. What is the problem? What is the problem? Let's see. 47, 74. Ah, damn. Okay, so if our number is super lucky already, then we, okay. Okay, if, if 47 is already super lucky, then we can't actually use 47. So we have to do uh, upper bound. Upper bound doesn't include the actual number greater than or equal to. Maybe lower bound, does lower bound include? Okay, lower bound. If container contains one occurrence, returns pointed to the first occurrence. If the unit has another, returns pointed to the position of next higher number than number. If the G. Do, 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 do. Lower. Let's okay. Let's see. Lower bound. Let's try lower bound. See, I don't know if it, because upper bound and lower bound don't in actually include the, okay, yeah, so lower bound works. Okay, so it's lower bound, because it we're, we're not including the value n, right? We're, we're including the value n. So 47 could be 47, yeah. So lower bound is like a way of binary search, remember? Um, lower bound and upper bound are like types of binary searches. So we could use that, we'll see. Let's see if this works. Okay, well, pass test 842. This should be AC now. Accepted. Accepted, yeah. So, okay. So, and it got accepted. So, yeah, that's how you guys do lucky numbers. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to do more problems with Code Forces because Code Force is more fun. And, like, I like doing competitive programming. But, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I know, have, I know I haven't been uploading a lot lately, but I'm going back into uploading probably daily now. And uh, I'll do some more videos about like heaps and like prefix some. I want to do one on segment trees. I have to learn more about that soon. But yeah, just keep doing problems. Keep do learning new algorithms. Keep implementing. And yeah, sooner or later, you'll do really well on these contests and interview problems. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.